All right, so what's up, guys? What an interesting morning it's been. I've been on this Reddit post for like 10, 15 minutes reading all the information, which claims that they have all that there is to know about the upcoming Modern Warfare's Battle Royale. And I'm going to be straight honest right now. Before we get into this information, I do not know if this is real or not. There's a couple of people over on Twitter claiming that it is real. But if this does not sound real, then I do not know what else will. Because once I give you all the information that is on this post, you're probably going to be thinking to yourself, well, yeah, yeah, maybe that's real. Because... It sounds extremely legit. I mean, personally, I enjoy the Modern Warfare multiplayer. It's really rage inducing. I do feel it has uh, some pretty annoying skill based matchmaking and that really throws me off and, and it just pretty much makes me not want to play it at times. But I overall think the game is a good game and I think there's a lot of potential in the game itself still. With that said, I really don't know if Battle Royale will be the best thing about this game. I've always felt like multiplayer is always the best, but again, there is a lot of people that thought that BO4's best mode was Battle Royale. So if you guys have any inputs on that, you can feel free to let me know in the comments below and uh, let's get into this information shall we i'm going to give you everything that there is to know here on this article and we'll kind of talk about it as we go through it so modern warfare's battle royale map is going to have zones so there's going to be zones within map kind of like for instance when you play you know any battle royale map you have a map and then you have areas like pois points of interest etc etc so the battle royale map for modern warfare is going to have zones such as airfield boneyard dam downtown gulag hospital layover lumber overgrown port quarry storage town super center train yard and tv station i feel like some of these give me vibes just by reading them of some like old school modern warfare maps um i'm pretty sure there are going to be areas in here where they are going to be part of like old school call of duty maps and pretty much just mixed into one for instance when we played spec ops over at the event if you watched my spec ops video when we did one of those missions one of the spec ops maps at the end had scrapyard like that's literally the ending part of that actual mission if you passed it you ended up in scrapyard and then you took off in a helicopter and you beat the, uh, the spec ops mission so we were talking about damn like spec ops has so many pois where they've just implemented so many little it's and bits and pieces of like old school call of Duty maps mixed into the spec ops map so i think this is what we're going to be seeing in a battle royale i feel like battle royale is going to be a lot bigger than we think um i do feel like spec ops in general as a mode has a huge role on battle royale if this of course ends up being real i do believe that we are going to be seeing some pretty crazy connection between spec ops and battle royale it just makes no sense for them to have such a huge spec ops map and not put that into battle royale so now we have points of interest which are actually literally points of interest that you may be interested in such as the bank the fire station the gas station the gun store the pharmacy and police station normally over the last couple of years battle royale modes have always been up to 100 players the last person alive wins or the last squad alive wins or the last duels alive wins etc etc it looks according to this post it looks like modern warfare is going to be going above and beyond battle royale it is said to have 200 players honestly i don't even know how that's going to be a thing it it's i've i've heard that rumor before prior to this post plenty of times this is not the first time i see this but every time i see it it, it just it's freaking crazy to even think that so i did also hear a rumor that there was going to be like 100 versus 100 mode like an extended version of a ground war but i've also heard that was going to be for battle royale and then now this post is also claiming that it's going to be for battle royale which honestly to me it would make more sense for it to be for a battle royale now in addition to this we also have of course the playlist which you're going to have solo duels and squads you're going to have an end game radar which is going to be on towards the end game of course you'll have an infiltration options the c130 you're going to have a pre-game lobby which is pretty much going to be a free-for-all we just mess around and just shoot each other until the game starts it seems like the post-game exfiltration will be off the max health will be 150 the last stand health will be 100 last revive health will be 30 so when you get revived you will have 30 health once you've been revived the last stand timer is 60 seconds and in order to revive someone that's in last stand it's going to take you seven seconds friendly fire punishes limit up to two the gulag is going to be on and of course we'll know more about the gulag in just a couple of minutes here as we go through this list because the gulag sounds extremely interesting and i don't know if it's going to be based in gulag showers but there is going to be some sort of lobby for players that have been down and killed and that's what they're considering the gulag now there's also some additional information and options for private matches for br if you want to set up a private match which is here i'll just leave it here for you guys if you guys want to pause it 
but I'm not really going to read over it. I don't think it's really necessary. Something that's also been really popular within battle royale modes and games recently has been respawning and the ability to play with a squad. And if the squad dies, they don't typically necessarily are, you know, out for good. You can have a chance to revive them and respawn them and they can keep helping you up to a certain amount of times. So respawning within Modern Warfare's battle royale is going to be a little bit different. So you're going to have respawn tokens, which can be looted after one use. Respawn tokens will be disabled for that player. So essentially what this is saying is you can die and you can get revived, but you can only do it one time. You can't really spam it over and over and over again, which makes absolute perfect sense. So now to respawn a team, you got to obtain the respawn token and then drop their body near an ambulance. Now, once you drop that body near the ambulance, the player will enter the gulag, which is what we talked about. It's going to be a gulag queue for a chance to win a 1v1 match and respawn into the match. It's really important to know that during this match, during the battle royale match, at some point, the gulag is going to be disabled so you won't be able to respawn any longer and if you were respawned in order to retrieve your loadout if you had like a good loadout and you want to get it again and you don't have to you know go searching for other things you're gonna have to actually find a mobile armory in order to retrieve that loadout that you had a call of Duty modern warfare's battle royale is going to feature something really crazy called missions and within these missions you can actually find them via a tablet and you can only equip one mission per squad now within these missions you're actually going to have several ones that you can complete so you're going to be able to get missions like tracked time run assassination which is eliminate pl uh, specific players scavenger hunt which means collect scavenger crates domination which is capture a domination point which is kind of crazy seems like they'll integrate some sort of domination little mini game mission within a battle royale match which would be really cool and interesting and then you have random missions which we don't really know what it's yet but it seems interesting as well now it also does say that if no bounty is available for the assassination mission a consolation plunder will be awarded when a mission is started or completed the entire squad will be notified by an on-screen message now within this battle royale mode there's also going to be a jump master pretty similar to apex legends when you jump down the airplane or whatnot you're going to have a jump master and it says right here the jump master of a squad can select a deployment point prior to the match starts if the jump master chooses to discard the role any player can become it players who are not the jump master have the ability to jump separately from the team if you detach from the jump master you will not drop in proximity to your loadout bag if you're wondering what sort of loot this mode is going to be having you're going to have rarities such as white green blue purple and gold limited inventory space of course requisition airdrop timer 30 seconds all the weapons attachments equipment field upgrades and kill streaks for multiplayer gas masks vests helmets bandages ammo backpacks portable defibr defibrillators and plunder you cannot hold two of the same weapon cannot take armor of lower level than currently equipped attachments which are incompatible with the current weapon will be placed in your backpack and supply crates contain potentially valuable equipment or items for those of you that have been playing battle royale modes for a while now you know that much of this is pretty much self-explanatory and mandatory if not a standard for the battle royale industry in addition to all of this we also have some brand new armor information for battle royale and i believe there's a little bit of a typo here i believe this is helmet level one two and three or three two and one so the first one says reduces headshot damage by 30 percent reduces the effect of flash and concussions i would say this is probably going to be level three and then you have level two which would be reduces damage on headshots by 30 and then level one would be by 15 to the head and then you have the ballistic vest which is level one two and three so absorbs 50 percent damage absorbs 150 damage and absorbs 150 damage and increases healing item usage by 25. for those of you that played call of duty black ops 4's battle royale blackout you know that there was perks in the game and to be honest they actually worked pretty good they worked better than i thought they would and it looks like battle royale for modern warfare is also going to be bringing back perks so for the perks we have high alert which grants vision when an enemy looks at you from outside of your field of view your fov we have spotter which enemy equipment within a small radius is visible and highlighted to you even through the walls tracker enemy leaves footprints as they move and increase crouch movement speed stalker allows you to move faster while you're aiming down the site marksman allows you to identify enemies from further away by showing their names from greater distances sleight of hand reload your weapon 50 percent faster which is how it should have been in multiplayer and i don't know why it's not it's kind of dumb the way they did it in multiplayer armor which uses your armor plates 20 percent faster and they supply 10 percent more armor we also have artisan taste which i don't know if i butchered the name of that perk but whatever weapons you pick up have a chance to automatically upgrade which sounds really nice we got deep pockets any usable equipment you pick up has an extra use we have grenader any throwable equipment you pick up has an extra use you also have the perk healer which your medic items continue to heal for an additional 25 percent of their value over the next 20 seconds you have thief which when you harvest generate 20 percent more 
plunder you got ammo scavenger enemies you will kill will always drop ammunition armor scavenger enemies you kill will always drop some armor plates medic scavenger enemies you kill will always drop some medic items plunder scavenger does the same thing booty hunter or sorry <laughs> the bounty hunter perk if you kill someone with more perks than you gain enough points to match them and then you can replace this perk you got ghosts which allows you to be invisible to drones and sensors you have the sneaky perks which allows your footsteps to be invisible and enemies are not warned when you track them and explosive ordnance disposal explosive resistance and you can capture enemy claymores and mines that's a whole lot of perks sounds pretty interesting they do work slightly different than they do in multiplayer a lot of these make more sense than the ones in multiplayer themselves but those are the perks for battle royale you're also gonna have kill streaks so kill streaks activated using lethal and tactical buttons and juggernauts if you have a juggernaut you cannot pick up loot as a juggernaut and then you have plunder which i'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering about the plunder so according to this the plunder you can earn a plunder by completing missions and eliminating enemies purchase game changing items at plunder box locations you can also collect plunder and convert it into xp by depositing it into an atm machine located through the in game the player who collects the most plunder in a match will be named the best plunderer there's a minimum amount of plunder required before depositing it into the bank plunder drop from eliminated enemies will expires after some time and when players enter the bank the bank alarm will sound alerting all enemies within the vicinity see it seems like this battle royale mode is not just going to be battle royale there's going to be battle royale going on but you could have so many other things to do like side missions and collecting you know things like this like for plundering and it, it seems like it's going to be a whole lot of things and it's the fact that according to this post it is going to be 200 players so it's, it, it sounds like it's going to be really crazy. Another little additional fact about the Gulag, which is going to be a Gulag prison camp. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one single round match when to respawn. It says when enabled, players will have a chance to respawn back into the match by winning a 1v1 fight. It acts like a King of the Hill star gauntlet, meaning players in the Gulag queue will spectate the players who are currently fighting in the Gulag. There will also be a cooldown on the screen indicating how many rounds are left until you fight. A jailbreak happens every so often and kicks all players out of the Gulag and back into the match. Players have the ability to place bets on the players who are fighting using plunder so plunder is going to be like in-game currency like during that game which is really freaking cool i would really like to see what you guys have to say about this it sounds extremely interesting and a lot of people are saying this is what's going to save modern warfare i don't really think it is i mean i think it's going to be a great addition but i don't think modern warfare is in a bad place right now it just needs some fixing but uh overall it's a good solid game overall it's been since day one it's just a lot of weird decisions being made for the multiplayer matchmaking and stuff like that but again, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this battle royale mode? Pretty interesting stuff indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm pretty excited to try it out once it comes out. Hopefully it does. And um, I guess only time will tell. I would say maybe sometime around next year. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.